Yeah, good evening everyone. Uh, my name is CK. I'm here in uh, solidarity to Jimmy Wanjiki. I'm at Kamkunji Police Station. I, I came to stand with him. I'm very disappointed with uh, the police or the government because um, the, earlier in the day, um, as per the request of uh, the DCI, um he was asked if he could present himself to the dci of which he did he went today and after going instead of uh, taking his statement he was taken to kamkonji police station where we are right now i think it's around 11:15. Uh, 11:15. 11 15. uh the family and uh, friends are camping here yeah in uh, just to make sure that uh, um, he's safe because we are seeing a possibility of him being transferred from this police station to I don't know where. Um, I, I feel uh, it's not the right thing. I mean, if you feel Wanjigi is hitting you directly, if it's political, let's go political. Let's fight politically. Don't take me to the police station. Don't take him to police station so that you can intimidate him. Let's fight. Inakwanga yangumi yangumi. Lakini hi historia kukuati just because amiongelelea prezo, amiongelelea government, anajaribu kutu educate by the way about our economy. You feel threatened. I don't think this is the right way to, to fight a battle. The way you fight a battle is to fight back by punching. If you feel he's talking about you politically, fight him politically. Don't bring him here in police station. Uh, for him being here, it's illegal because he has a, a court order restraining police from arresting him. It says that anytime he, the police need him, they can meet in court. So tomorrow, they, they have refused to give him cash bail, even after family and friends asking them to take a cash bail, not to spend at the police station. They have refused. So what do you call this? Intimidation. They want him to spend the night, whereas he's a Kenyan who has a right to cash bail. Because, um, because of their own interest. So for, for today, um, uh, he's gonna spend the night here, which is very, very frustrating. And uh, tomorrow we're gonna go to the courts. I'm wondering, the same courts had given him the restraining orders to be arrested, are the same courts that he's going to be taken to. So, what kind of uh, um, what kind of uh, country do we have? Country that doesn't. Uh, uh, work with the rule of law. I think uh, as a country, we have uh, laws that govern our country and also that protect Kenyans. So for now, we feel that uh, it doesn't even, the law favor some people and not the other. Just because you're in power, you're able to, to use your powers to intimidate other people. Just because you're in power, you're able to do some things I feel that uh, this law should be, should be, should, the, 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 the people bending the laws should be the ones to be arrested because uh, they are trying to change what is uh, there. So for me, uh, is to say that uh, please, 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 Mr. Ruto, Tafadali, to watch intimidation at police station, watch an to patane kwa ground, what wende kwa ground. Ukiskia ya uyu wame kugonga vibaya, we mgonge vibaya pia political. Prove! If he's saying that you have not ruled the right way, just show us, tell us as, as Kenyans that no, Jimmy and Jiggy is lying, this is how things are. And that is how we fight politically. But when you come and give me a blow by bringing a thousand policemen to arrest Jimmy Wanzigi, I don't think this is right. So for me, I'm, I'm, I'm here in solidarity. We are all here. There's so many other people who are going to spend here. A family, the wife is here, the kids are here, spending here until we know that Jimmy is safe. Thank you.